1.8. Part 2. What's the best thing about running a restaurant? Um, I think the best thing is making people happy. That's why even after all this time, I still enjoy it so much. And the worst thing? Oh, that's easy. It has to be the long hours. This week, for example, I'm cooking nearly every day. We usually close on Sundays and Mondays, but this Monday is a public holiday where lots of people want to eat out, so we're open. Social Air is in all the British restaurant guides now. Does that mean you get a lot of British customers? Uh, yes, we get a lot of British people, especially at the weekends. But then we get people from other countries too. And are the British customers and the Spanish customers very different? Yes, I think they are. The British always say that everything is lovely, even if they've only eaten half of it. The Spanish, on the other hand, are absolutely honest about everything. They tell you what they like, they tell you what they don't like. I remember when I first opened, I had sushi on the menu, which was very unusual at that time. And I went into the dining room and I said to people, so what do you think of the sushi? And the customers, who were all Spanish, said, Oh, it was awful. It was raw fish. Actually, I think I prefer that honesty because it helps us to know what people like. What kind of customers do you find difficult? Um, I think customers who want me to cook something in a way that I don't think is very good. Uh, let's see, a, a person who asks for a really well done steak, for instance. For me, that's a difficult customer. You know, they'll say, I want a really, really well done steak. So I give them a really, really well done steak. And then they say, it's tough. And I think, well, of course it's tough. It's well done. Well done steak is always tough. People say that the Mediterranean diet is very healthy. Do you think people's eating habits in Spain are changing? Well, I think they are changing. Unfortunately, I think they're getting worse. People are eating more unhealthily. How do you notice that? Um, I see it with, especially with younger friends. They often eat in fast food restaurants. They don't cook. And actually, the younger ones come from a generation where their mothers don't cook either. That's what's happening now, and it's a real pity.